The problem that brought me here is problem of cold. I mean, it's not just narry cold, but demonic cold. Uh, over there in Italy, before the cold started, if I'm sleepy, something will come and be pressing me in the night. It will continue for three days straight. And I told my wife, I said, I don't know what is going on. Anytime I'm sleepy, something is pressing me. I try to shout, Jesus, Jesus. But at the end of the day, maybe when I'm able to shout, Jesus, the thing will now leave me, then I will wake up. So my wife said, I should pray. Then I prayed. After a few days, I started feeling cold. I thought it was just normal cold that we normally feel there. So I took the normal drugs that we, took, uh, that we take for cold there, but the cold refused to finish. So I went to the hospital. They admitted me for several days. They treated me, they put me in different machines, different tests. After several days, they said I should go home, that I'm okay. But when I got home, after two days, the cold started again in a very disturbing way. I went back to the hospital again, they did all manner of tests. They said they couldn't find any, anything. So for the fourth time, when I went back to the hospital, the doctor told me that he has been in this profession for 20 years, that he has never seen something like this. Because all the tests, there is nothing wrong. So I will wear like a three jacket, four jacket, but I will still be feeling that cold, serious internal cold. So immediately that doctor told me that one, I told my wife, we have to come back to Africa. So the next day, I bought a ticket and I flew down to Nigeria. So when I got to Nigeria, my brother called some other pastors. They prayed with me, but the cold was still there. He refused to go. I stayed in the sun day and night, but the cold refused to go. And I went to a private clinic. The doctor did so many tests. He couldn't find anything. He now called my mom because this is a problem. My mom also lives in uh, Europe. Because of this same problem, she have to fly down to Nigeria as well. So the doctor now called my mom and told my mom that he has done so many tests, he couldn't find anything, but he thinks that this problem is a spiritual issue. So that same day, it was when my friend, Mr. Felix, I think he's here now, he was telling me that, ah, that this, because sometimes I used to faint, I have no strength, my brother, they have to carry me to toilet and everything. So immediately he saw me in the hospital. He told me that, no, I cannot remain here. That there is one woman of God that he wants to take me to. He was so serious about it. He was, he said, woman of favor. Favor. What now motivated me? When he told me that, he said, Mike, I said, yes. He said, I guarantee you, if you go to that place, you will be where and you will not die. Yeah. That one. Clap your hands to Jesus. Immediately he said that one, I called the nurses. I told them to come and remove the drip, remove everything. They said, but your doses have not, uh, you have not finished your doses. You have already paid for it. I said, I don't care. Remove everything. I want to live here. So that same night, so that's because I was not even having strength. I was, I was almost collapsing. But all I could hear he was saying he was measuring Sister Florence. Sister Florence, do this one, do this one. I didn't what he was talking about. So that was how he took me out of that hospital. We came to this place. Immediately I stepped into this place. That fear that was always with me, he first of all calmed down. And I, I, you know, he calmed Some down. Power! I, I, I didn't faint again. All those fainties stopped. So to cut a long story short, after that three, that three days program, the second day, when uh, mommy came to do the partition, immediately she laid her hands on me. She now said, every code she spoke on this year, that is you, disappear. Immediately I felt something left this other year. So, power. 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 Since then, all the coat disappear. All the coat disappear. I don't wear jacket. I don't wear jacket again. Hey, I don't how wear long? Another... How long were you battling with this thing? How long? How long? Give him the mic. Since, since December 16th, I have been suffering this sickness. Since December, since December 16th, 16th. Hmm. I was in the hospital Christmas. I didn't know when they do when they do Christmas. Hmm. I was in the hospital. 
during Christmas and, you know, and everything. And so, during the impartation, one-on-one, during, on one, during the camping program, the if camping you have been program. missing it, make yourself available in this coming one. Mm -hmm. So in, since that day, no more cold. All I feel now is sweat. <laughs> power, jump power, shot power. Ah! I, because I, I, I believe some of you must have seen me wearing some you no know, jacket and putting uh, something to prevent cold. But if I go to supermarket, I have to stay outside because they always have AC. My mom will go inside and buy the things we want to buy and come back. But now. If I go to the supermarket, I don't even know whether that's AC anymore. <laughs> I stay. Shot so, power! So, uh, Glory! I, I, I want to thank God for using mommy to heal me. Now I'm here, free, and every sickness has disappeared. Disappeared! I give glory to God. Hallelujah! In the mighty name of Jesus.